gloves, fabric paint, brushes and a palette to mix skin tones, and a mask. Employing centuries-old painting techniques, 65-year-old Georges Roriz has moved from theatrics into the more urgent business of saving people's lives. The Rio de Janeiro artist spent the last 40 years of his life creating costumes for what Brazilians call the fantasy of carnival. But when the festival was postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, instead of despairing, he decided to help in the effort to persuade people to take mask wearing seriously. I had the idea to communicate the importance for people to take care of themselves, to protect themselves. George's first public appeals were videos on Instagram. Elaborate makeup portraying himself as evil Maleficent and this viral costume of the supervillain, the Joker, with the message, masks. Use them. Then he stumbled upon an even more persuasive idea, humor. I decided to use myself as a character, with my own face, and went out to the streets. People pointed at me and thought it was funny because when I talk, nobody can see my lips moving. Georgi says he tries to make his masks as lifelike as possible, using photographs his clients sent directly to his phone. Painting up to 10 masks a day, he says he lost track of how many he has made since he started in April. So you might not have noticed, but this is actually a mask of my face. Let's try it on. So, Georgie, how do you look? Oh, my God, Pocahontas. <laughs> <laughs> too, too bad you cannot see me smiling. The masks include realistic depictions of beards, mustaches, and lipstick, depending on the client's photos and special requests. Orders are coming from all over Brazil and even from abroad. Thank God I've had the privilege of being able to work and at the same time bringing some safety and happiness to people and giving them back a bit of their identity. Jorge says he misses his job as a carnival artist but agrees with the decision to wait for a vaccine before stating the festival again.